goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. Uh, leads me to this week's tiz take. Um, and that is, black beefs should always be handled in person and offline. Um, and what I mean by in person and offline is face to face, man to man, or as face to face as possible with no audience. So not your homeboys around, not his, not their crew around, not somebody else buddies around, not a, not online, not on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or YouTube or TikTok or like in real life, face to face, man to man, no audience, no no cameras around, no none of that, just you and them. Because what I find is people can settle their differences a lot better in their own circumstances. Yeah. Um, the reason they should be handled off, offline and in person is because it leads to us looking crazy to outside people. So people that look at black <coughs> people, there are people that like sit around and they judge black people by what they see online. And when they see us constantly beefing with each other, they think that that's all that we do. And it, they use it to then ju try to justify their stereotypes about us. So it's like, we're doing the work. Of, that's how the makers act in, man. Exactly. Exactly. And like, if we're going to just do their work, then what, what the fuck is the purpose? Uh -huh. um, it also leads to sensationalism and making small things become larger issues. Like when people be online, they get their followings, they get their fan bases, they get their uh, subscribers or their um, fr Facebook friends or their, um, what you call it on Instagram when people, I guess followers on there too? On, on there. Yeah, followers. Yeah, they get all of them people riled up and they get the beehive and the sea hive and the G hive and the A hive. And the and Barbies the and the... Yeah, they get the crews and the D's and the that's and the this gangs and the this peoples and then and they get all these people riled up. And then it becomes this big old issue because you got now like hundreds or thousands of people like all involved when really it's between two people. Mm -hmm. Maybe three. That if they sat down offline and without an audience. They probably will settle it without any problems because nine times out of 10, when people are in person, they're not looking to try to fight. They're looking to try to solve it in person. It's just when they're on online, they, they get that bravado up and they feel like, oh, well, I got to make sure I don't look like a punk. So I can't, I can't say that, you know, I can't say anything reasonable because then that's going to make me sound like I'm getting solved on the issue. So I got to make, you know what I'm saying? I got to act tough. And then that's when the shit get out of hand. Because then somebody say something too disrespectful and then you can't bring that back. And then it, it, it go past online. Mm -hmm. um, it also makes it harder to reconcile when online, when online due to the following. So for one, it's harder to reconcile because that shit lasts forever. So it'd be just online and clips. So you keep reliving that same trauma. You keep reliving <coughs> that same negative thing that was said to you. So it's really hard to reconcile sometimes. And then on top of that, the followings, they be done got so wrapped up into it that you be trying to leave it alone, but they still carrying it on, carrying it on, carrying and it not, on. Not only that, Tiz, that the social media platform will remind you, rem this is a memory from three years ago, Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> Remember when you beat with that nigga three years ago? Right, right. Uh, happened to me. You ain't even got that social media. You can have Google Photos and that shit uh, put together an animation of that day. Like, remember this nigga was like, fuck you. Facebook do the same thing. <laughs> like, you know, just, just make you real mad all over again. So, they have a, they have a friend anniversary. It's hard. And then, um, my, my fix or oh, my end of my tears take is, I think we need a black offline boxing league where you have a referee, right? And maybe you have a ref, no, you just have a referee and let him, let them box however many rounds. 
if you need judges, you may have three judges that watch the fight in person, but they signed an NDA where they can't talk about nothing. They got a judge right there. They like they can't talk about nothing they seen though. And they figure out who won and they tell the people in there who won, like the people who actually fought, you won. And then it's over. But nobody outside of that room ever talks about it again. Like a fight club type shit. Mm. But but sanctioned so where like you got like you know the, the health involved and you, and you can actually take care of the people involved. Health-wise. A secret thriller. Yeah, but like <laughs> just let them get it out. You, you go a few you know. rounds with somebody, man. If you don't get it out by then, then hell, y'all like the Hatfield and McCoys. Y'all ain't gonna never be right. You know, I, I kind of, I feel you on that. Like, I kind of feel like it should be a black internet, like with just black topics. Because I think, I feel like our topics that, that are strate- just just straight up just for us or whatever shouldn't be discussed by anybody else. Yeah. Like, or whatever. And I think a lot of times, a lot of the problems and the main reason why we don't get a lot of our problems solved is because it's other people with their opinions about black topics or whatever. Like, like if there's a if there's a problem as far as like Asian people, or whatever, you don't hear about it until until they want you to hear about it. You know what I'm saying? Like stop Asian hate. You know, I'm for that also. Um stop, I'm for you know any stopping any type of hate. But they get their stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like it's it's almost like they have a way to they have their own language so it's easier for them to communicate amongst each other without nobody else knowing or whatever like we need our own language we need our own like way of communicating our problems so we can organize faster to get things done quicker or whatever Indeed. without people without interference putting their two cents in yes. and influencing what what we um want you know what i'm saying like and I, I and I think a lot of times we have those influence. They put doubts into the whole thing. Like, why can't we have reparations or whatever? Because of this, this, and this, and this, and this. No, we don't need your opinion or whatever. The Jewish didn't need their opinion. This is true. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, I just put my two cents in again. I'm fine. No, no <laughs> lie detector there, brother. No lie detector there. Um, but yeah. So, Tiz take man. Uh. Let's get an offline boxing league where you can sign up and get confidential boxing matches with the person that you have a beef with. If it's come, if it, you can't do it past talking online, offline, and in person. Um, and the overall test take is just our beefs should always be handled in person and offline. It should never be a public forum for our disagreements if it's past disagreeing and debating on topics. If it doesn't come to us somewhere as personal, then handle it personally and not for the world to see. So that way you can actually resolve it as opposed to having people continue to stoke the fire. So mm-hmm. let's love each other. Let's stop pulling up on the ops. Let's stop going to people blocks and taking pictures and taking vi- like, let's stop, um, let's stop putting guns in the videos and talking about smoking people packs and talking about smoking on dead homies and and this scary stuff like let's stop uh put don't be a boohoo banger right let's let's stop talking about murders and killing people <laughs> that you really have killed and putting that in your songs like let's stop that like this stuff is scary man like for what let's love each other the more you call it's on right. death the more death comes Indeed, man. And that's this week's TSA. And...